Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's time for another Maya modeling video, and today it's gonna to be a very special request, probably by my younger subscriber, I think. So if you're younger, let me know in the comments. His name is Peter, he's nine years old, and he asked me to do a sci-fi case. Okay, so here we go. All right, guys, well, we're on Maya 2018, and let's start with the polygon cube, okay? So I'm gonna hit R, I'm gonna scale this up and pull this out, make it nice and big so you can see it all right. Then we're going to go to insert edge loop, option box, multiple, and set it to one. So it will pop straight in the middle right there, and one right there. Q on the keyboard. We're going to jump to this view, right click at a face, and I'm basically going to get rid of all of these. And then this right here, and this right here. So that's all we have left, okay? Then we're going to go to uh, Injured Edge Loop again. Let's set it to two this time. And we're going to go in. We'll do two here, two here, and two there. And then those two, I'm going to hit R and I'm going to pull that out a little bit. And then I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard. Go to Edge, select that edge, and go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. I'm going to increase that fraction size quite a bit until I'm almost at that edge there, like so. That looks all right. And then I'm gonna right click, go to vertex, jump to the top, and we're gonna drag select this and this. And we're gonna hit R and we're gonna kind of bring that in. All right. So now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a polygon cylinder. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna pull that out. E to rotate, hold on J, flip it on its side. Control A to open up the attribute editor and let's set caps to zero. So we can go in, right click on a face, delete one, delete number two, and then we're gonna go to object mode, hit R to pull it out, scale the whole thing in, make it nice and thin, pull it out again. W to move that in here and move that up. Jump to our top view. It's going to be about there. That looks about right. And then we're going to go in and hit R and scale it and bring it back in a little bit. Okay. So that's going to be part of the handle here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click and go to vertex and that's exactly the vertices that I wanted, which is cool. Uh, except these two. So let's uh, scale that out and then push that in. All right, now that's good with the exception of these two. So this one, hit W, hold on X and snap it. Same here, okay. So that looks fine. We're gonna right click, go to edge and I'm gonna click and Double click and click and double click. Control E to extrude. And we're gonna hit R to pull them out like so. And that looks all right. Pull it back maybe a little. Okay. So now that we have that, let's start to do some detailing. So we're gonna go to edge. We're gonna double click on this outer edge all the way around. Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.1 on the thickness, okay? And then we're gonna hit G to repeat, and we're gonna tweak the offset. Let's see how that looks. That looks all right. And then we're gonna go in, and we're gonna hit Control E once again, and let's not do that. Let's see, I'm just thinking whether that's what I want. No, actually we'll do it this way. We'll go in, we'll get a face, and I'm gonna click and shift, double click to have that edge all the way around. Hit Control E to extrude, and do 0 0.1 on the thickness, which will give us that edge there, okay? Now we're gonna go in and add some detail, so I'm gonna right click at a face, select this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're gonna hit Control E to extrude again. Let's do offset, bring it in like this. 
and then we're going to hit a G to repeat and we're going to do a negative thickness and pull it in like so okay then we're going to go back in to insert edge loop open that up let's do multiple and two once again and we'll do two 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 Q on a keyboard okay let's see how that pans out so if we do one here and here and not there here here and there you go looks fine and we'll do the same here once again control E to extrude let's do the offset and then let's do G to repeat and do the thickness and bring it in a bit not too much minus the 0 0.1 which is all right okay starting to get there okay so now that we have this what now well we're gonna select it and we're gonna hit uh, control D to duplicate E to rotate hold down J and flip it around now we need to have a slight opening on the top there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit W and we're gonna pull this down let's get this guy into place for a second and we need to be pretty exact about this so let's check the position on this guy All right so it's uh, minus 0.312 so this should be 0.312 perfect okay so now that we have these two we're gonna drag select and we're gonna go to mesh and combine and we're gonna go to modify and center pivot Okay, so if we wanted to hinge this guy, and I'll just make sure that this is one object here, mesh and combine, and then set the pivot point in the right place. Hit the insert key, and uh, let's see, we're gonna hold down V. We're gonna bring that up, and bring that over. And I'm gonna hold down V to snap it. And there you go okay hit the injured key again so that's where it would rotate and you would have this situation going on so we need hinges on the top there okay so that's what we're gonna do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create something that will uh, resemble a hinge obviously we'll take a cube hit W bring it out I'm gonna hit R to scale it so we can see what's going on push it down push it in go to insert edge loop again which should still be at 2 and it is yeah cool we're gonna queue on a keyboard we're gonna go in and we're gonna select in these faces and there you go control E to extrude we're gonna do 0 0.2 is not enough let's do 0 0.8 that's much better okay and then let's see we'll do uh, the offset as well I'll pull it down a little bit like that and then to give it some definition to make it uh, actually you know seem like a hinge we're gonna take this guy control E uh, thickness actually let's do the offset first let's do offset G to repeat, W to pull up, and R to scale in. That kind of looks okay. And then we can go in and take these two if you want. Control E, W to push down a little bit. All right. So we're going to take this guy. We're going to go to the top few. Move it in. R to scale that down, way down. Have to zoom in it's centered which is good we're gonna hit W we're gonna move that over to the end here and we need to scale it down some more so it has to fit in there and it does let's check our height let's bring that up I have to zoom in bring it down there you have it now we want to have one in exactly the same position at the other end so in our translate values it's 
So we're going to control the D to duplicate, move it over, minus 8.911 would give us a perfect symmetry. So that's going to be our latches for now. And now let's look at the end caps here and at the bottom. So for the bottom, we're going to do a custom. So we're going to take a cube, hit R, scale it up, and we're going to start to match our dimensions. So we're going to bring it up till about there. Then we're going to bring it out to about there. Then we're going to go into Internet Edge Loop again. Make sure we're set to two. Yeah. We're going to add them right there. We're going to hit R. We're going to start to scale them out to there. Okay. And then we're going to go in to Internet Edge Loop again. Set it to manual. And we'll put one in there. And we'll put one in there. Okay, Q on a keyboard, right click vertex, drag select, and shift to drag select. Hit R to scale that up until we're at the right height. And then we're going to push it back in. Like so. And let's see what we got. Okay. So now we're going to go to object mode. We're going to W to push it down so we can see what's going on here. Bottom looks fine. We're going to now go in to Injured Edge Loop option box. Let's set this to multiple and one. Let's put that in straight in the middle. So we can hit Q on a keyboard. We can right click at a face, drag select the entire top half. And now we have the bottom of our case, All right? So we're going to hit W, we're going to move this up. We need to make it fit, obviously, and it's still a bit too high. So we are going to right click at a vertex, drag select, push that way down like this. And then we're going to bring that up like so. Let's have a look. We're going to go to face and get rid of this one and that one. That's fine. And then we're going to go to Vertex. And we're going to drag select and shift drag select and hit W and move that up. It looks like they need to come in a little bit. So we're going to drag select and drag select. Hit 4 for wireframe mode. Hit R and slightly scale them in. Okay. So now that we have that, going to bring that down just a little bit. We're going to go to Injured Edge Loop option box. Let's go to manual setting. And we're going to do one there as well. Make sure that the same height. Hit W and move that. There you go. So we're going to bring that back up again. We're good. We're going to go to Edge. We're going to double click and Double click, edit mesh and bevel, looks fine. Then we're going to get those latches, one and two. Mesh combine, W to move, control D to duplicate, W to move again, E to rotate, hold on J. Go back one, boom. W, bring it in, bring it down. And sometimes you just have to tweak a little. That's quite all right. Now, if that is not in contact, what we'll do is we'll just uh, pull it back a little. We'll right click, get a face. We'll take these two. Control E to extrude and W to pull out just a little. Okay. We're going to go to object mode. We're going to move that back in.
All right, looks all right. Now we need a set on the other end as well, of course. So Control D to duplicate, W to move, E to rotate, hold down J, flip them around, W to move in, F to frame, and there you have it. All right, guys, well, it's time for our end caps here. So what we're gonna do there is, uh, let me think, we are going to, we are going to, yeah, we're gonna fit a cap there. I'm just trying to think whether we're gonna put one in or out. Um, I think we're gonna go with in, right? So I'm gonna take a polygon cube, I'm gonna pull that out, hit R to scale that up. Let's start to fit that, okay? So let's see, we'll let W, we'll push that in, and that is well within the boundaries there. Drag select vertex, bring that in. And initially, I'm just gonna worry about the outer dimensions, and then we're gonna tweak everything else. All right, so I'm gonna go to object mode, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Right click, go to face, delete that face, there we go. I'm gonna take this guy and move it in here and see what our fit looks like. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale it down ever so slightly. That works for the most part, except for the bottom of course. And there we're gonna go to edge and we're gonna take those two and go to uh, Edit mesh and bevel. And let's uh, tweak that bevel shape so it fits. Let's try 0 0.1. That's pretty close. That's actually very close. Let's see how that w looks. All right. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this guy in object mode. Let's go to insert edge loop again. Option box. In this case do a manual one let's uh, move that in like so Q on a keyboard right click face click and shift double click and control E to extrude 0 0.01 okay now let's start shaping this guy we're gonna go to vertex we're gonna drag select we're gonna hit W we're gonna bring that in like so. And from here, we're gonna go in to uh, Injured Edge Loop again, set it to multiple and two. We'll do two here, two here that we now need to connect, of course, but that's all right, we'll do that. And we'll do that by going into our modeling toolkit and then we'll take our multi-cut tool and we'll hit four for wireframe mode and we'll jump from this guy to this guy and hit enter and then from this guy to this guy and hit enter close our modeling toolkit five for shaded mode hit q on our keyboard and then we're going to go in and set two here and two here and then go in again not connect, multi-cut, there we go. From there to there, enter, and from there to there, and enter. Q on our keyboard, once again, five for shaded mode, and there you have it. Okay, uh, it looks like we got a little bit of a warp line here, which is not ideal. Let's uh, tweak that a little bit. But actually it's tapered a little bit, so that's not too bad. So we'll leave that. Okay, it's both ends. So now that we have that, we're gonna get a face and I'm gonna select, let's do these four. Okay, we're gonna uh, control E to extrude, let W to pull out, like so. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna right click go to edge, one, two, three, four. And push those back in like so. Looks kinda neat. 
and then I'm going to right click at a vertex. Now keep in mind guys, this is completely free form, okay? So don't beat me up about it, you know, I'm just going with the flow here, okay? So let's see, we're going to go to um, chamfer vertices. Now that doesn't look too great. I can probably fix that by hardening edges, but I don't want to do that. So we're going to do it another way. So I'm simply going to go into edge, select these edges here, and go to edit mesh and bevel. Makes it look way cooler. Okay. And we'll do one, two, three, and one, two, three and hit the G to repeat that. Bit smaller bevel, but it's fine. All right, so now we need to have an additional uh, grip or handle here. So for that, we'll uh, take this guy. In object mode, go to mesh and separate. Take this, control D to duplicate, W to pull that out. We're gonna hit E to rotate it and hold down GA to do that. And then we're going to hit the W and bring that in. It's, of course, way too thick, most likely. Let's close down this guy. Let's go in here and hit W and bring that in. And let's hit R and scale it down a bit and bring it in again. Have to zoom in. We're going to hit W to pull up. That's going to be where it should be. Let's hit R to scale it down a bit. All right. So we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to hit W to push that down. I think that looks pretty cool. Let's add a little detail to it uh, for the simple reason that we can. So we're going to go into face, select these faces so why do I have an edge loop here hit control delete to make sure that we got a clean cut there I'm gonna go to face one and two control E to extrude tweak the offset G to repeat and R to scale in and then just pull them in both like this and maybe you can do the same with the top here top and bottom okay so control E, offset, G to repeat, and R to scale in. All right, so we got this guy. We're gonna um, select these as well. We're gonna go to mesh and combine. Hit control D to duplicate, W to move over. Let's hit E to rotate this guy, hold down J and flip it around all the way. W to bring it back in. All right, now this guy is right there. Okay, so let's just uh, bring it in clean. All right, so now that we have that, what is always cool on something like this is letters, okay? You can do textures and all that kind of stuff. What I want to do is just uh, take something here. So create, we're going to type. Okay, and instead of 3D type, let's do MHT. Come on. MHT, there you go, okay? And we're gonna go in, and we're gonna E, and we're gonna rotate that around, hold down J, and flip it like this, and maybe even flip it like this. Hit W, move it out a little bit. Hard to scale it way down. W to bring it in, and up. Let's have a look. Let's bring that in somewhere around here. Have to frame it. OK, 
Okay, so let's uh, put that somewhere around here. You can make it a bit bigger if you want. And just to make sure it looks the same, we'll just put a simple Great Lambert on it, like this. Okay. So we can go on and on and on, but I think uh, this turned out okay. Uh, I'll just drag select everything, go to uh, Mesh and Combine. And the whole exercise here is to basically start with uh, primitives and see where it's going to take you okay so uh, that's all there's to it guys hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully it will inspire you to come up with your own designs uh, if you do please uh, link them below i'd love to see them and that said guys um thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time bye Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.